All right, people, so OTAs have kicked off for the Cleveland Browns. They have three scheduled this week, four scheduled next week. So I want to talk a little bit today about what we've seen so far and also Grant Delpit and Greedy Williams specifically, both being back on the field for the Browns. So first things first, though, I think a lot of people kind of misunderstand what these camps are. Like, these are voluntary camps. I've seen some people upset that Baker's not there and OBJ's not there. Listen, just because, you know, some of these guys don't show up does not mean they are not working. I think that's a big misconception with a lot of people in the fan base and the NFL as a whole. Just because somebody doesn't show up does not mean that they're not taking their job seriously or that they're not working. Like, go look at Baker's Instagram. You see that training video. He's in great shape. I think he's in better shape than he came into the offseason last year. Uh, when it comes to coming back to camp and getting ready for the next season. So just because some of these guys don't show up does not mean that they are not working. And I feel like some people really need to get that through their heads, first of all. And then, yeah, great. It's it's really good to see guys like Denzel Ward out there today and Miles Garrett out there today doing drills, getting into shape, you know, being there to get coached up and whatnot. That's great to see. They don't have to be there. You know, there's a time where it's mandatory and there's a time where it's voluntary. So just because the Kansas City Chiefs or the Indianapolis Colts or somebody else has a lot of their guys versus the Browns, who only has a few of their starters or whatnot, that does not mean it's the end of the world. Sure, it would be great to have everybody there, but that's what the mandatory camps are for. So no, they do not have to all show up and be there. So what we've seen a little bit in uh, some of the things that have come out, some of the reports, it's great to see the progress. You know, some of these guys like Andrew Billings, who was not here last year, getting to see Curtis Weaver, some of these new guys as far as the rookies on the field, kind of get a sense for the maybe not their role, but just to see them in action and see them doing some drills is really great to see in my opinion, and it's awesome. It, it, it's a real good feeling to see guys back on the field. It's like we're getting back in that time again. And um, specifically, when you look at guys like uh, Anthony Walker, you know, the, somebody who's going to be really counted on to play a big role for this team, he may be a captain as far as the green dot, which means uh, – Like the quarterback has the green dot you can hear from the coach in your helmet. The defense has two. And by the way, credit to the guys from the Dogs podcast. I heard that from them. So this is not me through my research. I literally heard it from them that on offense, it's always the quarterback who has it. On defense, you can have two guys just because there's a lot of rotation. So there is a chance that, now they may not, but... There's a real chance that Anthony Walker and John Johnson the third could both have the green dot to hear from the coach um, on the field. And I think for him specifically, you know, uh, Kevin Stefanski was asked about him and he essentially said, yeah, he's, you know, he's playing a big part. It looks good and whatnot. So it's really good to see him out there. Some of these rookies seem to be catching on pretty quick. Uh, Anthony Schwartz did have a leg wrap. I don't know if it was a wrap or a brace um, or a sleeve maybe. But, you know, these guys are getting their work in, and that's really what matters here. So, yeah, it's great to see that things are starting to come together. You're not going to see a lot from uh, the media clips and stuff like that. You're not going to get a lot of information as far as who's doing what and everything out there. But, My big thing, and this is what I want to talk about with Greedy Williams and Grant Delpit, this is very important to get these guys out there, these rookies, these guys who are coming back from injury. Grant Delpit technically coming into his second year. Greedy Williams technically coming into his third season in the NFL. But really, I treat both of those guys as rookies. Yes, Greedy did play a little bit his rookie year, and... um, you know, you can count that. But as far as full season and just same coach, same system, getting prepared, I'm really looking at both of these guys as rookies. Grant Delpit, do not be surprised if he's a superstar. 
And I say that knowing completely what that means. I think he has the potential and the ability to be a Pro Bowl level safety for you this season. Yes, this season coming back from his Achilles tear. And I know it's a tough injury to come back from. He looks great. He's mentally in the right spot. He looks physically in the right spot. And I think with Greedy Williams, it's kind of the same thing. He's gone through this frustrating situation where the fan base, including myself, doubted him if he even wanted to play. And, uh, you know, I'm on the record. I absolutely loved the Greedy Williams pick. I thought that Greedy was going to be what we're hoping Greg Newsom can be, that lockdown number two opposite of Denzel Ward to really get the absolute best out of what Ward can do because of how good the man playing opposite man playing opposite of him is. And um, I'm telling you, I wouldn't count out Greedy quite yet. I don't know what his role is going to be for the Browns this season, but I will say this. Sometimes it's not about... You know, when you're getting into these first camps, it's not about necessarily doing everything perfect. It's more about getting a sense of your surroundings. When you get out there on the field and get in position, you look to your left, you look to your right, and you say, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is who I can count on. This is where I'm lined up. It's these things that really spark the communication to be on the same page going into the season. So, yes, we're not going to see a whole lot right now. But just the fact that they're both getting out there on the field, watching it firsthand is really great to see. I think the Browns are in a good spot. It's interesting that they had Demetric Felton playing a lot of receiver. They're having him go back and forth. So when we drafted him, I was excited because I was hoping he could play a little bit more receiver, maybe a slot role. Um, So to me, that news makes me happy because I want to see him play both roles there. So, yeah, as far as camp as a whole, what we've seen, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, you're not going to get a whole lot out of uh, the stuff that's coming out. But seeing Grant Delbit, seeing Greedy Williams on the field, seeing these guys get in the roles and try to learn their positions, learn where their spots are, where they need to be at, kind of go through the motions, that's where you start. And it's good to see this, and uh, we'll learn a lot more as uh, camps keep going on, and then uh, obviously when the mandatory camps come, then we'll really get a big picture of where things are at. I can't wait. It's going to be an exciting season. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll see you in the next video.